Hey everyone, it's Dabacab, and the new map, Eichenwald, is available on the BTR, so I figured I would buy one of the new Reinhardt skins and try it out and give you all my thoughts on the map. And uh, I learned from my last video that it is definitely Eichenwald, because uh, the German-speaking fans out there chewed me out for mispronouncing. I think I was saying Eichen Eichenwald or something? I don't know. Anyways, um, so I'll say right off the bat that this is in my opinion, and by, an ex by a significant margin actually, the most beautiful and polished map in all of Overwatch. I actually think that I saw a blue post somewhere where they said that they had, uh, like all the maps that are in Overwatch right now, they had sort of like finished all of them with the exception of Gibraltar and Eichenwald. And they were trying to figure out, like they only had enough time to put one of them in launch, so they were trying to choose between Gibraltar and Eichenwald, and obviously they, they chose uh, Gibraltar. But that gave them the time to just polish and polish and polish Eichenwald. And it's really clear, to me at least, that this game just has that sort of like extra attention and TLC that the other maps are lacking. Not to say the other maps are bad. I mean, on the contrary, Blizzard has some of the most beautiful map design of any FPS I've seen. Things are colorful, they're intricate. It's not just this endless sea of brown and gray, uh, like urban warfare that we're so accustomed to. It's They're colorful and unique and they have a lot of personality. So that being said, Eichenwald is just the best of the best. There's so much stuff, like there's just stuff everywhere. There's visually appealing things everywhere. There's, there's a, a lot of greenery, which I think is very appealing. The, the other maps are kind of missing a sort of touch of nature. You get a little bit of it in Gibraltar, you get a little bit of it in Nabani, and you get a little bit of it in, um, let me see, Ilios. But for the most part, it's just, this, 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 this game doesn't have a lot of green in it, unfortunately. And Eichenwald more than makes up for it. And on top of it, it's just this like really beautiful castle and everything is sort of dilapidated and you got this mix of old and new with like actual stone masonry and then you're like pushing this giant floating battering ram but it's also you know medieval because the battering ram is like <laughs> it's it's just gonna hit the the wall really hard to break it down so i just i just really like this aesthetic it gives you a feel of what this game would be like if it were fantasy instead of sci-fi, and obviously it would be gorgeous as a fantasy game. But that certainly makes sense that they made it sci-fi, or near future at least. So I am I'm thrilled with this map. I think it's gorgeous. In terms of like uh, how it feels, it's this is it's got a really cool sort of like vibe to it. Where the, the chokeholds the the fact that the chokeholds are around the castle means that you are literally, you know, storming the gates. You are climbing the ramparts. It is an uphill battle the whole time. You start at the at a low vantage point and you gradually work your way up and up and up until you get to the gates. So it sort of gives you a feel of what it would be like in sort of, you know, old Europe uh, during the, like the era of the Black Plague when you're conquering territory for treasure and glory or, or what have you. So the overall feel is awesome. In terms of like map mechanics, it's interesting. I'm actually having a little bit of difficulty sort of putting my thoughts into words in terms of map mechanics because I just don't understand the map yet. This is by far, hands down, the most complicated and confusing and twisty turny map in all of the world. So not to say it's overwhelming necessarily, it's just there's a lot going on. It's very vertical, um, like there's ramparts and um, like little basement areas and twisting pathways that a lot of other maps just don't have. And here I, I got down to 25 health and I just sort of like panicked a little bit and accidentally hit my button to turn off the UI. So I guess you could just appreciate the beauty for a moment while I, uh, while I try and figure out what to do. Anyways, uh, just the map's very, very complicated, like they're, they're the reason why I'm not getting health packs is because I don't know where any 200 health packs are right now. I sort of learned there's one in the castle to my right, uh, but I did not know that at this particular game. And I feel like this game really succeeds, or this will be an excellent map for um, flankers, especially 
the Genji and Tracer. Just because there are so many little back alley passageways that you can really easily sneak up on your enemy without any of them spotting you. As a matter of fact, the very, very first game I played of Eichenwald uh, before this one, it was... Uh, we were playing against an enemy, Reinhardt, and the Reinhardt spent the whole game flanking us. And I think part of the reason why he did that is because he... I mean, he could. There's just a lot of little like side routes and passages that allows him to get back there, which a lot of other maps wouldn't allow Reinhardt to do. And on top of that, the map is just so massive and huge, and the little passageways are so spread up, spread apart that a Reinhardt could successfully sneak up on you without you hearing him. That's that's the problem with the flanking Reinhardt, right? He's got the huge, like, 500 pound, thousand pound armor that makes him weigh a ton, so you can hear him stomping around behind a building. But in Eichenwald, it's just there's so much space that you can just stomp behind enemy lines without them noticing you. So that Reinhardt really caught us off guard more than a few times, and uh, it was uh, quite an ordeal. But um, I think that once people learn this map a little more, especially where the health packs are, because there are just so many little twisty turvy routes that I think people are spend all their time out in the open, and they just sort of, you know, aren't healed up as much as they should be. So I think it'll be uh, more interesting engagements later on. I feel like the inside of the castle is not quite as compelling as the outside. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the outside of the castle has this like beautiful vista where you can just look up and you can see the castle that you're storming in the distance. And it's got all this greenery, which is um, sort of a, a rarity in this game. And the inside, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's it looks the way you expect a dilapidated castle to look. It's it's not surprising, but it's just a little plain, a little bit dull compared to the outside. I mean, it's just sort of like it looks like dusty old rooms with uh, some rubble, and uh, there aren't really any eye-catching things. Like right here, everywhere you look, it looks like a like a beautiful scene, but when you're inside, it just looks sort of like a, you know, like a basement almost. Uh, the obvious exception being the goal at the end with, uh, I think his name is Baldrick. He looks freaking amazing. Um, that's got to be a reference to, uh, my initial thought was it was a reference to the Skeleton King from Diablo 3. Some people on the YouTube said that they think it's a reference to the Lich King. I mean, I guess it could be two things. I think it's more powerfully a Skeleton King reference because he's got the giant mace to the side, which the Skeleton King also had, and the Lich King had a sword. So, you know, it's it's not exactly clear how much inspiration Blizzard was getting from their other IPs, but um, I would not be surprised if they, you know, look, they're taking a look at the Skeleton King's room and were like, you know, what does that look like? Let's make a cool room. This is a good a good place for us to start. So overall, it's just, this is a really successful map. I think that Blizzard did a really awesome job with it. I'm really looking forward to playing this, especially on like competitive mode. And uh, it's just, it's just awesome. Uh, two thumbs up, Blizzard, 10 out of 10. You nailed this map. I'm really hoping that the future maps are up to the same level of calib, like same caliber, same level of polish, same attention to detail. Because if this is what we have to look forward to, then every new major content release is going to be super exciting for everyone. Because you guys really nailed it on this one. Anyways, thanks for watching this commentary video. Dabakab out.